Hi guys, welcome to this quick video about the question which is the best weather watch face for Android Wear or Wear OS and I'm not only going to tell you what's my favorite but I'm also going to explain you why and I'm also going to show you my second pick so stay tuned till the very end of the video. Uh, in 2022 still the winner is the weather for Wear OS and it's created by the BIS Mobile and it's not a big surprise because it has also been the best uh, weather watch face in the past and it probably will be in the future. Uh, I mean there hasn't been a lot of development here from this company in the past it looks pretty much the same as in 2021, 2020, 19, 18, 17 or so. I have already been using this couple of years ago, but it's more or less reliable. It has most information which you can get on a watch face, I would say, especially the long term prediction up to eight days and the weather radar or rain radar included. And you get already a a lot actually in the free version. The big problem with this weather watch face has always been the price of the premium if you want to unlock some special features or special combinations which you want to have on your uh, watch face then you had to pay a lot. Can't really remember how much it was. It was really really expensive like three dollars per month or so something like that or even more and now they have come down to 99 cents per month which I think is a decent price. I mean it delivers a, a lot. It's definitely the best watch face and, and what's the big thing here is it's not only delivering a lot of other information on the normal active watch face. I mean you usually have two watch faces. You have the active and you have the passive or the AOD and most of the weather watch faces they are delivering good information in the active watch face but not in the passive watch face. But here is this thing here you can have almost all the information also in the passive watch face that's really good so so i'm going to show you here some samples of what i have i have combination of the weather radar here i mean that's the passive uh, watch face we have the weather radar i have a uh, time really large which i like it has a really nice font the good thing it has large letters is really good visible and it is not too wide the font is not too wide so it still works for the burn-in protection if you have a nice modern beautiful oled screen and if you have large items then there could be burn in and uh, usually these watches have burn in protection so that they are shifting a little bit the screen left and right but usually only about five pixels and so on if you have a too wide font then the burn in protection wouldn't be working so in this case i would say yeah the burn in protection works more or less there could be a, a, a couple of large items here but i'm not too worried about that but i love this thing what's also really interesting also really good is that we have this battery indicator that's here all the way around i mean of course sometimes it's a victim of the uh, oled burning protection but usually we can see it nicely all the way around the battery very easily visible without to having to pull the wearing glasses or so really nice screen that's the passive or uh, ambient watch face then here I have the active watch face that also includes the map of course with the passive or the ambient watch face uh, it's not possible with the map because it would cause burning so I think it was a good decision to uh, spare out the map but it's of course it's not easy to see but if you are in doubt where the rain is just uh, tap on it or shake your watch and then you will see the details and here what I have uh, in the passive I have the long term prediction like eight days and here in the active watch face I have the short term like 24 hours uh, we have also sunrise sunset really nice information here I just wished the digital uh, watch would be a little bit larger even if it would block a little bit but uh, yeah I mean it's okay it's definitely not a deal breaker absolutely not what we also have and we click on this thing here we have a couple of sensitive 
areas where we have some additional settings like uh, here the type what we want to see and we can uh, zoom in zoom out refresh these things and there's also an option to see the uh, whole unblocked uh, radar and some other things like also a detailed weather prediction yeah there's a, a lot here it's definitely worse uh, i think the 99 cents by the way i'm not affiliated with this company i just love their watch face and i hope they will keep uh, in in business so this is uh, the purpose of my video because i think it's well worth it it's the best weather watch face uh, at least from my point of view it would be really interesting to learn from you what's your favorite by the way uh, my second favorite is the uh, GS Weather. They have a lot of them. GS Weather 4, 7, 8, 9. Uh, they are struggling a little bit with the ambient watch face or the information on the ambient watch face. I have bought the 7 and because of the burning protection they haven't been showing anything like the chart uh, hasn't been showed up in the ambient mode and i've been contacting the developer and he did the change so now uh, also in the ambient mode we can see the five day chart but it's only five day chart i mean these things are also very nice but uh, it's not matching the functionality of the normal uh, weather for wear os by the bis uh, companies so that's it from my side it would be really interesting to learn from you what you think uh, what's your favorite just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time